All right, guys, welcome back to the ALGS channel. Hope you guys are all doing well and having a great day so far. We've got a good bit to talk about as the new Season 17 update has come out and also as the rank changes have had a little bit of backlash as well. However, we're going to have some multiple opinions and multiple perspectives and even Respawn themselves, well, or at least a game developer themselves who we all think works for Respawn, I'm pretty sure, unless they've updated their bio, responding to that accusation uh, about the bad rank system altogether also i wanted to say look i did not do my hair this morning i didn't have a hat couldn't find one just woke up got bed head so yes i understand like my hair looks a mess and i like you know whatever i look trashy but i didn't really feel like doing anything so i gotta do all this before i jump in the shower if i gotta make these videos i got a guy coming over to fix my house let's jump right into it like the video subscribe to the channel and comment down below if you guys want to step today all things apex legends esports related first off i wanted to make mention of this after the regional finals happened we had tech come out and basically say he wanted to get to some stuff off of his chest and i totally feel like this was fair this is not complaining this is not saying you know like oh oh you know what this is basically just venting that's all it is and i thought he brought some good uh you know points to this as well so first off he says you know after getting uh this close to qualifying last night which was two nights ago i've never felt this much defeat and discouragement from competing in apex this isn't another depressing tweet falling short where i preemptively announced my retirement but just a vent of severe frustration take a step back and put yourself in my shoes with the furious situation he said i, I brought zara and hack due to the org uh you know our duo to the org after i saw what they were capable of with their performances in the series e at the time not a single pro rated these players highly and fast forward we need a replacement for hack panders was struggling on ghosts and i already and i always knew he was one of the best controller players again before people recognized that so i was there to buy out panders because furia did not want to pay i was willing to pay it out of my own pocket because i knew he was a hidden gem and i was about to say screw it and pay for it before furia decided probably wasn't a good look for them if one of their players bought out another player as well rather than the org doing it so they paid for it and decided it probably or you know and then panders was acquired fast forward though i tell them we are contesting for lightning rod one of the best pois on storm point uh but unrecognized at that time over time furia told me to stop contesting and to start showing results but i told them uh that they would have to kick me from the team because i knew the value of a strong poi and what it does for consistent performance i sacrificed my salary for a chance to uh, for a chance at the first step towards being a top team no one else took that risk fast forward i'm dropped the team goes on to become a dominant team with my players that i invested in early again players that no one gave an eye to and my pois that i sacrificed a lot to secure then situation number two situation number three goes on and on and on about you know then the whole zainu situation getting so close to qualifying with this squad and nobody believing in them once again whatever and then you know boom all of a sudden dark zero buys and poaches him out zainu's gone zainu wins match point regional final zainu makes it to the land and meat lovers does not the ends it off by saying this is that is all just event nothing more thanks for reading if you made it this far so honestly i felt so bad for tech watching these regional finals i felt like you know it's just a sucky situation altogether i really hate it for him and you got a lot of people in the comments of course you know trying to show their support uh you know th this is really inspiring for tech side of things like as how good of a per person he is for scouting a lot of talent as well even imperial how responded saying i even said on stream i don't know how you handle all of that but i bet one day you'll get what you deserve everyone does so how showing a little it sounds a little threatening but <laughs> how showing a little bit of support here for tech as well now let's talk about some of the drama that's going on within the scene right now the season 17 rank system has just come out recently and people are starting to publicly flame this this is absolutely starting it off absolutely flames the new rank system and then we have crystal which used to not share what org she works for uh or who she works for it doesn't it just says apex streamer but a senior producer at the BYG Vancouver. So I, I'm not sure exactly. Any, anyways, a lot of affiliation with Apex over time. She, being that she's been game developer for quite some time, she knows a little bit about it. She has a lot of opinions about this stuff as well. Anyways, Albert Lely came out and said, I encourage all of you guys to do a zero fighting challenge to see how high you can climb. Let's make respawn hot fix this system because if you do not fight at all in placements and you just sit and storm with heat shields on a car, you will gain about two to 4,000 LP per game. I've already done my placement, so I can't. But he said, if you do this right, you can literally get zero kills throughout all of this and land about high plat or mid diamond, which yes, that is broken if it was true. 
Now, Crystal, being game developer, tried to shed a little bit of light here, saying the reason why Preds are aping right now and gaining so fast is because the provisionals are mixing people with different ranks. Let's get people to their correct rank first, and it'll normalize their games and we'll feel sweaty again. Basically saying, just give it a lot of time. I even saw a poll this morning that most people said, you know, do you hate the system? Do you love the system? Or do you think it needs more time? Personally, I, I was like, this is, I mean, I'm not a game developer or anything, but I was saying the same thing. I think... I think obviously like it's a little sporadic right now, right? I was going up against Nick Merckx yesterday in tripods. Actually, to be honest with you, I beat him, but I don't think I should be in their game. I'm not that good, especially since I've switched to controller. I'm still learning a lot. I definitely should not be that high of a level yet. I don't know what that was. It just set off my gag reflex and that was really weird. Anyways, back to what we're talking about here with the rank system. So. Crystal responded, though, into Albert Lely's tweet. Now, Albert Lely basically said that isn't why the games haven't felt sweaty at all. It, haven't, it hasn't been sweaty since season 13. She said, just give the times for the sweats to catch up. It's the first day. Albert Lely said they don't need to catch up because everyone will be masters with this system. That's what you aren't understanding. Then she goes off. First of all, you cannot even get 4K LP per game in the provisionals. It's like 500 in a normal rank. Second, I saw three players placed drastically different one was gold four one was silver one and one was plat one two of them were pro players and one used to be pred second the amount of lp required for masters is up 9k lp from last season that's a lot of lp no matter what way you look at it third the skill and sweatiness in the lobby will increase as more people hit higher ranks just like every season before this also it changes you eventually start getting zero lp when you can't reach top 10. so apparently they just need more time for the rank system to balance itself out and like i said at first glance i thought the same thing obviously the pro players know a lot i'm not trying to you know say that they don't know what they're talking about but i, I what i basically think happens is that yes people do need to wait for the rank system to fix itself to some degree like i think over time because it was a hard reset because everyone started back from zero and in, in rookie four that's why it's a little weird off the start it will take time and once people get in their ranks it will get sweaty however i do think that there is a problem with the provisionals where you can kind of hack the provisionals still and maybe get way too high of what you deserve or maybe you don't deserve to get mid diamond or, or high plat or whatever but you can kind of like you know do this little sit in zone and because i actually saw this tweet yesterday or this was actually on my page see if i can pull it up this was my timeline yesterday i don't know if you could see this i'll try to pull it up but literally my entire timeline i didn't have to scroll one bit Sweet saying, debating on doing a no weapons challenge to show how pro or to prove how bad this system is. Uh, also, Watson saying, saying that there's literally no point in even picking up a gun. You can just craft med kits and just heal in a zone and get all this rank stuff. New rank system needs to be reverted at least. And so on and on and on and on and on. Everybody is talking about how bad the rank system is right now. It seems to be out of hand. Regardless, interested to see what you guys have to say with the rank system. Personally, I think it just needs a little bit more time. How also saying one step forward, two steps back. And uh, some people even said if they would just up the entry cost, then we would be all good to go. Also wanted to mention that there was apparently a little bit of a change. You guys, this may be huge for ALGS. We thought that the meta was going to change, right? We thought oh, it was all over because Catalyst was supposed to not have any type of information through walls anymore. Seer scans were not supposed to work. The Seer ultimate was not supposed to pick up the people behind the Catalyst wall any longer that was in the patch notes well guess what it is no longer in the patch notes they went back and took it out also we noticed in the firing range yesterday that you could still see it and we actually thought according to albert Lully, maybe it was just a firing range bug he actually said it was confirmed to be a firing range bug not sure where he heard that it was confirmed because that wasn't true at all apparently because the change is live uh god bless but screw seer that didn't happen at all raven responded and said nope xd albert Lully said oh great and raven said yeah it still exists so you can actually still use cat seer meta sadly we thought it was going to be gone it looks like they decided it wasn't quite time also want to wrap it up with this i really opening it up about his future in gaming and honestly a pretty good answer because someone did ask a very good question to him saying i have a question how how long do you think you have left for apex competitive i've been watching you for a good three years now and i'm wondering how you've had this much drive to just keep on going and what keeps you motivated to keep grinding? And how responded said, I spoke to my dad the other day and he told me a story when he was a truck driver and was thinking about quitting since he has always done it. And it was always a hard job as well. I've realized that both of my parents not only went across the world for themselves, but for their family. And even when with my father at his lowest point, he didn't quit. So me and everyone else in the family could experience life correctly. 
I've had thoughts of moving on, but if my father did all that just to have me move on, is that really fair? I don't think I'll ever quit because my dad did it. Dang, bro. That is CEO energy right there. That's good stuff. And it's good to see Hal's uh, discussion about his future in gaming. It looks like we may be able to keep him for quite some time. But uh, yeah, that was a little emotional story. Not gonna lie, I almost brought a tear to my eye. Anyways, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Like the video if you guys did enjoy and subscribe to the channel if you guys wanna stay up to date all things Apex Legends, esports related. Until the next time, I will see you all later, Gators.